Welcome to this edition of Power Nuggets. One of the important things you can do in response to prophecy is to test the prophecy. Thessalonians 1st chapter 5 verse 20 the Bible says do not despise prophecy and it says clearly but test everything. So God has given us the command to test. So understand one of the covenant rights that you have as a Christian is to get to a place where you are able to test prophecy. This means that you should not believe every kind of prophecy that comes your way. You need to come to a place where you have to check it out. There has to be systems that will help you to filter and know is this the right prophecy or not. Well, I hear you. Maybe you're saying, Pastor, how do I test prophecy? I'm just a mere Christian, and this one is a gifted prophet. Well, there are guidelines that will help you to filter that. Number one, you have to make sure that that prophecy is in line with the scripture. Check and see, is the prophecy contravening? Is it contrary to the scripture? Is it breaking the scripture or not? If you find that the prophecy is breaking the scripture, then you understand it is not the right prophecy. First Peter chapter 1 verse 20, the Bible says, Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of the scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things. For prophecy never had its origin in human will, but prophets through human, though human, spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. Every time a prophet comes and the prophet releases the word, that prophecy has to be in line with the scripture. It has to be what the scripture says. You have to understand we have the word, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 19, which is a sure word of prophecy. This is the sure word of prophecy. It has to be in line with the scripture. So anytime you receive the prophet and receive prophecy, check does it go contrary to the scripture or it speaks about the scripture. For example, if a prophet tells you have to leave your wife and get married to another one, you have to make sure is it in line with the scripture because that one breaks scriptural rule. Number two, way of checking prophecy, you have to check does the prophecy glorify God? Does it glorify God? Anytime you receive prophecy, that prophecy has to glorify God. If it is lifting man above God, then there is something wrong about that prophecy. That prophecy should not elevate man above God. It has to be elevating God above man. It has to glorify God. Jesus said he will glorify me. He will glorify me. Then the third thing you need to do, does it bear witness with your spirit? All Christians walking true with God, you have the Holy Spirit in you. And if prophecy comes from the Holy Scripture, I mean from, 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 from the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is in you, then there has to be a bearing witness that what you're being told is true. So there has to be an agreement between the Spirit in you and what the prophet is saying. It has to bear witness. One work of the Holy Ghost is to bear witness. So anytime you receive the, the, the prophecy, understand there is something in you that helps you to bear witness. So I close by telling you, test every prophecy that comes your way. Don't just receive it. You have to make sure it is in line with the scripture. It glorifies God and you bear witness with it that this is the word from God. God bless you. See you tomorrow.